welcome to my channel so this is Muli so today we'll be looking at uh, the tour sheet which you guys uh, you'll be looking at so this tour sheet was all about what uh, dimension analysis the application now you can apply that so those are the questions and uh, this is how you can go about when you're asked in the exam so what I want you to note is that um, dimension analysis it has its own language or symbols which you need to know so each time when they are talking about mass like M there you need to up, uh, do what is replaced with a capital what? capital M then anything to do with length for instance displacement height breadth always replaced with what? L so no wonder you see me doing this often then when each time you are told to uh, if in the equation you have time anything to do with time always replaced with a what? a capital T that is in dimension analysis then all the constants they are equivalent to what? to zero this also includes numbers also for instance this is what? zero in dimension analysis it has no what? units so all those which have units are being replaced with what? these letters like the way I have explained so here are the questions are the solutions to the questions which I just shown you like the first one and the second one so this is how you go about so you do that then you replace upon replacing then you see since we are told to find b so our main interest is what b there as you can see uh-huh then there you replace you know your exit is l then you m then to become what like that when you do you use uh, those theories which you used to do in grade d12 you know that a negative means what one over what then this number it is the same as a uh, t not so so if you want to put it in positive to be what a uh, t then a negative then two not so if you remember then this one um you have been told that uh, there are constants like sign this one sign 2x and f the constant so meaning that this is the one have any value no wonder it to be just like what like this the word what shown it then the other one we are asked to prove so meaning that volume you also know that volume is what uh, under length so which is the same as l squared not so then the other side the area the dimension of area it is l squared then for the height it is l so when you put them together you find that it is what it is proven it is correct then when it comes to volume the other one you know that volume is what base area times height so you do the same you replace here then you find that uh this uh, pi r squared is just the same as what uh, the, the the letter area which is just the same as area so no wonder this is proven to be what to be correct same applies with this one so one and the same thing because lb when you multiply lb to give you area so no wonder when you just replace that it will give you the same as you can see from these diagrams yes so the other thing here Question 3, it was about proving the equation if they are equal. So, you use the dimension analysis. So, this is how you can go about with this one. Uh, if you want to go further in like a, uh, dissecting it, then you have such. Then from there, this is not proven to be correct. So, no wonder. It is giving you what is. It's not balancing both sides. Unless uh, this expression was zero. Same applies with this one like i was doing it that is how you do it also same with the last question uh, the last question it was quite different a bit because um, you are asked to do what to prove not so uh-huh so there since we're interested in p you need to make this a subject or formula so that's you that you just cross multiply then when you do that uh then to get rid of the square just introduce a square root to both sides here you can use plus or negative but it doesn't apply so much so no need of putting the plus and minus always know that when you put a square root it goes with a plus or minus but in this case you can ignore that so then it will come out like this so you find that it will be what proven be to come out like that because you know that p it is what momentum then t is what time so it's the same as force is equals to what uh, p over t you meet these uh, formulas as you move on. No wonder in physics, no need of mastering what? Formulas, just know how to apply them. 